Well, you, guys ha you guys hadn't turned the ball over that much right. heading into this game, and obviously it was a big problem tonight. How did that impact the game? It, it, you know, we, we talk about it every week. Like, and then I said earlier this week at the press conference, it was going to come down to really three things. Um, turnovers, right? And, and you know, penalties, um, and, and, and really, and special teams, right? So you can't play a team of that caliber and uh, turn the ball, turn it over that many times, have a punt blocked, and all the things that happened in the first half um, and to still be ahead was really, um, I mean, based on that, was a miracle, right? Um, our defense held up and kept them, because we gave them sh short fields in the first half and kept them to field goals, but um, we, st we couldn't respond in the second half. And, then, and uh, you know, still the turnovers, you just can't play anybody and turn it over that many times and expect to be in a competitive game. Offensively, what concerned you the most? Well, I mean, just, you know, we had spurts of, of, of of offense, right? And, and um, um, it, it, you know, just we weren't very consistent. We couldn't run it the way we, we wanted to. Um, you know, they did some interesting things with run throughs, the linebackers who tried to get to the perimeter. Um, and uh, they had did a nice job there. But, you know, then we, we found out, you know, our best deal was just to run right at it. And uh, the, the run throughs and got some things going. I thought JJ coming back. Um, did some nice things, right? It was either hit or miss. Uh, we'd either, you know, it's a gain of none or a gain of, of 12 because of how they were doing things. So you look at the numbers and JJ had 18 carries coming back for 95 yards, you know, and um, Tilford, you know, for 49 yards and Wiley for six for 35 at five point, you know, five something a carry. So, um, you know, and, and you look at the paper and it, just, it doesn't look like that. Right, the game didn't look like that. That those guys averaged that that much because they were either zeros or, or ten, and um, you know, and, and you get behind the chains and some things. I, yeah, it, it was just we we we, you know, we 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 didn't play very well, and um, you can't play a team like that, and um, or any of these teams, and 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 not be consistent, um, and and turn the ball over the way we did. Hey, hey. We're able to get more pressure on the quarterback than I think any team has this season right. for sure. What were they doing, or what were your there's some? Uh, they they you know they had they did a nice job with their front four, but they also did a nice job with their linebackers of running through. I mean, even the run game, and just they just kept coming when we dropped back to throw it. They had some safety blitzes, which we, we hadn't seen a bunch of. Um, played some zero a couple times and just dared us to, to, to we couldn't get it off. So, you know, they give them credit. They, they, they did a nice job. You know, we got, like I said, in, in, in there in that, our locker room, we got, we got outplayed, we got outcoached, and, um, you know, that's something that we got we to gotta handle. And we got to admit, and, and that's, that's our message, right? You, um, you have problems, you, you um, admit what it is. Uh, and, I mean, you, it, whatever that is, you know, what, it, it, those blitzes we're going to see from here on out. And we've seen more in the last three weeks because, as I said, you know, either way, um, because of our quarterbacks and people, you know, coming at them and, and young guys, I mean, and, and, I mean with, with an injury or, or with a young guy, you're going to blitz them and, and, you know, make us and dare us on the perimeter. You know, we've been able to get to the perimeter, but um, they had a nice scheme there. But, you know, we, we, we had to be more patient in running the ball. But, like I said, it was zero or, or ten. Right, it was it was never a steady chunk of of five yards, six yards tonight, which gets you off schedule. How did the pressure affect Khalil? It seemed like he kind of got happy feet there for a while. Yeah, we, we, we talked about that. I mean, him stepping up in there and, and and you know and not avoiding the rush so much to the perimeter because they were they were containing him. You know, and, and so and when he was bailing out. You know he's bailing out right into either pressure or 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 the blocking surface, right? So you know he, he needed to step up in there, and, and there was times where he could have stepped up and ran um, um, instead of bailing out to the side. You know he's got to push up in the pocket and make some things happen. Is he 100 percent healthy? You know I don't know. You know I just I'll be honest with you, don't know. 
you said uh, JJ obviously looked pretty good tonight. Bam and Gary were out tonight. Yeah. Is that because of is that because of injuries? Yes. Um, with the punt block, was there something specific that? that broke down or that they did? Yeah, it was just a different formation. They, they left their D-line in. And when they've done that, they've been, over the course of the last two years, they've been a return team. And, um, I mean, in, in two years, I think, um, they came after one punt, and that was after they had a month to prepare to play Ohio State in a bowl game. So, for whatever reason, they decided to, to bring it tonight from a different formation and got to it. Looked like on the punt that maybe Thomas Reed kind of got in Stanley's way a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's what happened. It looked to me like it. He was trying to block um, for Stanley, and uh, it looked to me like he was engaged with the blocker. Didn't see the fair catch sign, and I think the ball hit him first. That's what it looked like to me. Did you notice anything different? Um, uh, as far as your defense went from the first half to the second half, the, the yardage differential was pretty significant. It was, it was well. significant. Yeah, I, you know, they, um, they took some more shots down the field, right? And they made the plays down the field that we did not. You know, you, you, we had some fields that were, for, were long. You know, they, they complete, they complete a, a long fade on the other sideline, right? They completed a post down the middle of the field off a of play action. Um, you know, they were, and then, you know, the play action uh, uh, pass for the touchdown coming the, going the other way um, on a short field. And then, you know, a, a really a good play in the end zone coming towards the locker room on another fade, right? So they, they, they made the plays down the field for chunk yardage in the second half that they didn't, they didn't have in the first half. Anything else for Coach? You guys are, are four and two at the halfway point of the season. How do you sort of, sort of assess? Uh, you know, it's uh, well, it's it's not. You know, we talk about one and zero mentality, and that's that is. You know, it's been working for us tonight. Obviously, it did not. Um, but the message is, hey, listen, win or lose, guess what? Um, next week's coming, and uh, you know what we can't do is let this bleed into next week. I'm not. We're not even talking about the year, right? We're talking about this team has responded to one week at a time, one day at a time. And, um, you know, that's our approach. We're going to stick with that approach. And that was our message in the locker room. Hey, listen, you know, win or lose, guess what? We're moving on. And, um, you know, and, and we got to be critical of ourselves as players, as coaches, and me. Um, and then we're going to move on and get ready for next week. And, um, you know, it, it, there's some things that – that we did tonight that were self-inflicted, that you can't play uh, at, at, at that, the caliber of football we've been playing the last couple of weeks um, and, and, and win those types of, type of games. So, um, you know, as coaches, we got to fix some things. As players have to fix some things as a team, as an organization. And, and you know, that's, that was our message today. And we're going to move on to next week and fix things and, and get ready to play next week. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it.